now. Let's see if you've brought me something interesting today. Status. Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate, better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. 
Unfortunately, the elusive maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Forty-seven. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. I suppose that like that or positive and happy. What? Why? Because he's a criminal, a demon. You keep telling all the good stories about him, a freedom fighter, a hero, a brave man, but you know, as well as I do, that those are not the true stories about him. Not this again. Wazir Khaile was a thug and a criminal who formed a gang of kids three decades ago. They terrorized the city with theft, robbery and, yes, murder. The authorities finally broke them up, but Khaile escaped. He became the maelstrom after that. A mad pirate of all things, terrorizing the South China Sea for years. It's that reporter friend of yours that keeps filling your head with these nonsense stories, huh? She happens to be right. There's even video footage out there of a man, clearly Kelly, bathing in the blood of his victims. He's completely insane. And now he's back for who knows what reason. I won't praise him as a god. 
and pray for us all to be rid of him. Okay, okay. Forty-seven. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Really about to shit himself when we brought him down here. Boss had insisted on blind holding him. I think he must have thought we were going to kill him or something. He was so nervous. I'd be surprised if he even remembered what the boss looks like now. Charles, he didn't bring the picture with him. No. The boss didn't want it to leave the hideout. It's still down here. Why? 
Hey there, tough guy. Do you mind? You're really pissing me off. Can you just leave me alone? Sorry, I don't think I know you. Actually, I can. Now beat it. You all got down, huh? Well, I'm not intimidated. Maelstrom will come and take care of you all. Until then, though, no access. There's an important meeting taking place up there. Now beat it! So rude. So, armed thugs belonging to the street gang known as the Crows have evacuated a hill in the slums of Mumbai. This could be worth investigating. He's a bloody terrorist. I do not think he's even real, to be honest. Oh, he's real. My brother's employer knows for a fact that he hangs out with some of the worst people in the city. The scum. Vanya Shah, the slum queen, for instance. Oh, she knows him well. Really? Well, how does your brother's employer know that? Oh, he owns a metal workshop, and Shah's been trying to take it over for ages. She even threatened him with Maelstrom. That man's a mass murderer, you know. A pirate. The worst kind of person. I really hope he ends up behind bars soon. Just make sure you have my back when the shit hits the fan. Samjho na, just following orders. Boss told us to evacuate everyone and stick around until after the meeting. That's what we are doing. So you have talked to him? Nobody talks to the boss. He left a message. When are you ready for us to give the signal? He's still up to his old tricks, isn't he? I'll be ready soon. Give me some time. Fine. Just tell the guys upstairs when. They'll raise the flag and summon him. Hmm, a letter signed Wazir. 
This house once belonged to the Maelstrom 47. This confirms a connection between him and the woman living here now. I know we're supposed to raise the flag when this Neha lady tells us, but how is he going to see it from the slums? I don't know. He's the Maelstrom. He's got eyes everywhere, you know. <sighs> Sometimes I think he's just a myth. A legend we tell ourselves to have something to look up to. I mean, have you ever seen him? No. But I volunteered for this in case he did show up. But it would be quite the story to tell the others, right? Yeah. Sure would be. What's your problem anyway? Get the hell away from me, asshole! <laughs> That's not comforting. Forty-seven? Someone's coming up the stairs leading to the secured area. It looks like a man. See if you can get close to him. Hmm? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Huh? Ah, uh ah, -huh, everything's okay. Get up! Just get up! Somebody's starting to piss me off now! You made it! Good! She, she's ready! 
ready for you. Wonderful. Thank you. Neha, it's me, Wazir. Seven, that's the maelstrom. You found him. Neha, please don't. The infamous maelstrom is dead. Very well done, forty-seven. Let's finish this one. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Maelstrom left Mumbai because he was recruited by the British to work as a spy. All the evidence is right there. Hmm. I suppose you also support the conspiracy theory that India is still a colony. Well, that goes without saying. But listen, think about it. The Queen comes here in 97. She has secret meetings with the government. And just weeks after, Maelstrom disappears from Mumbai. It's obvious he was a recruitment visit. Queen Elizabeth II herself recruited him as a spy for England? Obviously. I saw him, and get this, I took his picture, Bharat. Psh, I laugh in the face of danger. Look, I'm calling you because I got in touch with CNN India this morning. I thought I could sell them the picture, but they didn't want it. Said I was just making things up. But I know it's him. He was with those crows that started walking around the streets with weapons. I need you to get in touch with someone and help me sell the picture. You're a lawyer. You must know... Look, buddy, I'm flattered. somewhere, sir.
Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in many special colors. Sale on high quality cotton twill. Sale on high quality cotton twill. Did you have any luck? No, that tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the royal guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. Sir, please, one moment. You look like a discerning gentleman. We have the finest wares in here. Best cloth, finest cuts, dresses in all sizes. Come in and have a look. Perhaps something for your wife, yes? Best tailor in Mumbai. Holy crap. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Okay, okay, honey. I just need to compromise a little fabric since the shoes are cut. Hey, compromise your wife. Are you interested in clothing? Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Thank you. 
How much of these? Ah, you're back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled handler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. It's a deal, yes? Wow, those eyes are really burning into me. It's uh, like you're just looking straight into my soul. Okay, final offer now. 90 rupees. 90 rupees per running meter. That's my own cost. I, I really can't go lower. <laughs> Still no. Your haggling skills are something else. I'll give you that much. The silence. It's, it's terribly unnerving, to be honest. It's like you're uh, just dead inside. Like there's a vast, empty space where your emotions would normally reside. I can go no lower than 75 rupees. Really, take the offer. Please take the offer. You know what? My grandmother made these with her own hands. There's blood on the loom every night because she works so hard. The fair price is 100 rupees, so that's what I'm charging. I serves you right for just standing there like a corpse. It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Hey, surprise your wife with a new beautiful sari. We got sari textiles in all price ranges. Great. Thank you. Come again. For Miss Shah? Hey, what's up? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. I'm afraid your honest look isn't going to cut it here. I'm going to have to frisk you, pretty boy. Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Okay, stay put. I'll take a look. Go on ahead. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good Get idea. Out my way. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot to follow me. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Here we are. Makes my Just go through there. She stops, but my friend, the queen is waiting for you in the garden. I feel perhaps that is not the wisest decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. That is Vanya Shah, self appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Provided the child lives so long. Oh. That is the problem. Little Raji is not well. Five years. Five, five years, my queen. Yes, five additional years of servitude to your queen. 
for you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning wheels. That is my offer, Mr. Hussain. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Hi there. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. Hello? I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. I'm ready. Begin your measurements now, Dina. Well, what can we do? Get on with it. Confirmed kill on Vanya shot. Excellent work for us. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Ah, you made it out alive. My first potential audience is pretty sharp. So Oh my god, I 
cannot wait to see that new Rangan movie they're shooting over at the tower. Rangan, how can you support a man like that? He is a crook with a pie and every criminal finger out there. What? No! He's such a nice man! I'm sure you're mistaken. No, I'm not. He's got a closet full of skeletons, my dear. He is known to have close ties with a lot of underground types, including that Vanya Shah lady over by the train yard. My husband visits Bhavan Sagar's barbershop and he has all the best information. I can't believe it. Oh, shit, yaar. Oh, my head. Somewhere, sir. I just don't understand why they won't let me go. I've worked so hard for this. Sister, have patience. Looks like this guy is I roughing up people it. for a living. We have been oppressed by her false rule long enough, and That's someone needs to take me. a stand. I certainly Besides, she anger. killed everyone that came to her. Nobody knows what she wants. I can't risk it. Better to run. There's a bundle of money hidden in a box under the power junction near the water pump. It's for you. If you need more, talk to the people at the shop. They will help you. I know. I will talk to you soon.
You know, the movie's based on real events. It's about a pirate saving the city of Mumbai from some sort of witch. How is that based on anything real? Rangan told me the other night, he used to run with that pirate guy, the Maelstrom. He wrote down a lot of things they did and uses those stories in his movies. Okay. So this Maelstrom character is the guy who is supposed to save the city. Who is this witch then? Beats me. And to be honest, I think Rangan himself thinks he is the hero. <laughs> Hence the kissing scene. <laughs> okay. Talk about being delusional.
Salam, guard. Wait a minute. Good to go. I know they're still trying to find the right lines for the shoot, but in case they do, we need to be ready with the deck. You bet. I had to hack the controls to reduce the power output of the machine. I don't know where Ranga got this thing from, but it's powerful enough to blow the entire set from the roof. Yeah, we don't need any accidents on this final shoot. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on, he uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm, the Mumbai food district. He's likely still there, 47. Seven. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. Can't even make it back to the hotel. Wrong is waiting for me over by the tower.
Oh no. Here we go again. Find some place quick, Gregory. God, that's garlic. I, I cannot stand garlic. Oh. Sweating and cold. Maybe it's oh, maybe it's food poisoning or something. Whew, this is bad. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. See if you brought me something interesting today. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. Look who finally showed up. 
screwed up. Looks like you had a rough night. So, I just wanted to say, I absolutely loved you in Blundering Frights. I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. Mm, it didn't do very well, but, but I understand it has become something of a cult classic in Europe. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece. The camera work alone is magnificent. I mean, obviously, I'm a little tainted by my profession, but I think everything from the lighting to the cinematic tools used was just amazing. Is it true it's... How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great. Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo, shall we? All right. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon. I've got big plans for a sequel. Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents, I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon. So, my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come, shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private oh, word. Right. I Miss, suggest you humor the man. perfect. Well, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. <laughs> Are when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. Well done, Mr. Rangan. That's excellent. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap, then. Champagne for everyone. Are main keh raha hu, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yaar. You know, I got the champagne from a movie business contact. You know, he was so impressed with the production of the film. He just insisted on sponsoring the party, yaar. Famous film director in America. Yeah, I might go there next week to talk about distribution deals for Mumbai Hero. Are you last year at the rap party for the snake and the mongoose, everyone chipped in and bought me a painting by Soham Hussain. Ha, huh? it's inside the apartment actually. A beautiful painting of a tiger. You know, I loved it so much, so much. Soham's now doing my portrait. He's a great artist. Great, great. I hope everyone's enjoying themselves. We start editing in a couple of days, so it's not exactly over for me. Genius never rests, you know. Yes, what is it? 
it's the food, Mr. Rangan. Uh, the catering seems to have delivered the wrong things and they refuse to do anything about it. Then you lean on them a little harder, my friend. I'm, uh, I'm not really comfortable with that, Mr. Rangan. Comfortable? Who cares about that? Uh, you come here to me, Daud Rangan, an incredibly busy man, and you tell me these ridiculous things about catering as if I should take care of it for you? You are an adult. It's your job. Take care of it yourself. Understand? Yes, Mr. Rangan. Thank you. Bloody idiot. Sir, this is a restricted area. Hey, buddy, this area is oh, off limits. Good. I wanted to thank you for now, teaching me that. Now, don't show yourself Jack around Cross here anymore. Jack left cook combination last week. You know, I made good use of it last night. Is that right? Good to hear it, Mr. Rangan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one of those stunt people, he decided to get a little... Sir, I just told you to move along. Thank you. you know I'm glad we don't have a problem. Uh, I think he underestimated my raw strength. Add him on the retreat after the initial jab, but followed through with the cross. Decked him definitively. Yeah, you're a quick study, Mr. Ryan. Uh, it's all in the legwork, Mike. All in the legwork. How are you? Uh, what are, you uh, are you looking for a name that you dropped? Get lost. You're not allowed to be in here. That's a good boy. No offense, but I hope I don't see you again. What is taking that artist so long? I'm not asking him to paint the entire bloody building. It's just a tiny canvas. I saw him pacing nervously earlier. Maybe 
Maybe he's out of inspiration. Yeah, maybe a sound beating will provide him with the motivation needed to finish the work. I can make that happen, Mr. Ryan. Ah, okay, but not, not quite yet. Just say the word. So, we still need the final scene. The most important of all the scenes, in fact. The one where Mumbai finally gives in to her hero and plants the kiss of acceptance on his lips. Yes, we're just having a few issues. Yeah, yeah. The script seems to be missing. why that's important.
Holster that. Hey, it doesn't make you look tough. Only stupid. Put the gun away. Mr. Bola, finally I got through to you. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. 
looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. Seven. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know. It's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function. But we made a pact. You and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. 
This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is.